In chapter 49 of Jane Austen's Sense and Sensibility, after getting some fresh air, Edward returns to the cottage, where by dinner time, he secures his lady, engages her mother's consent, and is the happiest of men. He tells Eleanor how he formed his original attachment to Lucy. With nothing else to do as a young student, he had nothing better to do than fall in love with a pretty girl. Edward also explains that while he was at Oxford preparing for ordination, he received a letter from Lucy breaking their engagement and declaring her marriage to Robert. Because his mother had already settled the inheritance on Robert, she could no longer use it to threaten Edward, and she still ended up with the despised Lucy as her daughter-in-law, a most appropriate punishment in Eleanor's humble opinion. After reading the letter, Edward hurried to Barton Park to find Eleanor. Reunited, Eleanor and Edward are emotionally secure, but worried about money. Colonel Brandon arrives a few days later, and Mrs. Dashwood fills him in on the news. Letters from London with more details about Lucy and Robert begin to arrive. Mrs. Jennings writes how sly Lucy was about the marriage and how sad Edward must be. John reports on the sufferings of Fanny and Mrs. Ferrers, now estranged from both Edward and Robert. Lucy's secrecy, he explained, heightened the crime. John suggests that a subservient letter from Edward would do a lot to soften Mrs. Ferrer's displeasure, but Edward's not sorry about his actions. Eleanor insists that he has given offense by the secrecy of his own engagement. Edward yields to her even-keeled judgment, agreeing to travel to London to ask for forgiveness in person. Edward and Brandon leave for Delaford to inspect the parsonage before Edward travels on to London. In Chapter 50 of Sense and Sensibility, Mrs. Ferrers firmly places her son Edward back in her good graces, and Edward tells his mother he intends to marry Eleanor. At first, she tries to persuade him to marry Miss Morton instead, but then consents, rather than lose her son again. She makes him the same gift Fanny received on her marriage, 10,000 pounds, more generous than Edward or Eleanor had expected. It's a happy ending for the couple. Eleanor and Edward marry in the early fall and take quarters in the house at Delaford until repairs on the parsonage are complete. Both Edward and Robert, who, with Lucy, gain Mrs. Ferrer's real favor and preference, seem happy with how things have turned out. Eleanor's mother and sisters visit so frequently that Marianne and Colonel Brandon are often together. And finally, the truth of his love for Marianne bursts in on her. When she is 19, she marries him, mm -hmm. becoming wife and mistress of an estate and mm -hmm. patroness of a village. Meanwhile, Willoughby cannot think about Marianne's marriage to Brandon without a pang, made more bitter by Mrs. Smith's forgiveness. If only he had behaved more honorably toward Marianne, he might have been happy and rich. Mrs. Dashwood stays at Barton Cottage with Margaret, who's now old enough to take part in dances, while Eleanor and Marianne live close and remain friends, as do their husbands.